We are hearing about the bizarre experience one New Mexico man recently had. He went on a reality show, but it's not like the ones you may have seen on TV. Photojournalist Zach Crozier shows us what happened with tens of thousands of people watching. The production went in like with the big cameras and I was like, oh no, they're, we're being recorded right now. But you know, we were being recorded 24 seven. Mauro Cano was working in Southern New Mexico. He took college classes and in his spare time, he'd throw on a reality show. After responding to a Craigslist posting to be a contestant on a brand new program, Connell found himself traveling 2,000 miles to be on Fish Tank. It's kind of like a big brother for the internet, except way crazier. People can talk to you on the show, like they can pay to send you like voice messages to the show. Fish Tank is broadcasted on the internet 24-7, and viewers can spend money to sabotage the contestants, like taking their bed away for the night. Rule number one, no phones. Rule number two, you can't leave the house for six weeks. The show is hosted by provocateur comedians Sam Hyde and Jet Neptune, and they aren't holding back when it comes to putting the players into revealing, awkward, or mind-numbing situations for laughs. Oh, are you too stupid to realize that I'm talking to people? No, I'm not oh. even. When you were clashing with the other competitors, were you ever worried you'd be put in a self-defense situation? Some of the situations really escalated in there, you know, because you're with these people 24-7, you are bound to get annoyed of them, they're bound to get annoyed of, of you. I mean, I didn't really think about it, it was just in the heat of the moment, and I appreciate all of them. Well, most of them. Connell spent nine days indoors before he opted out of the competition, and he says the only time he went outside was with his hands up. A viewer allegedly called police to raid the house in a dangerous prank called swatting. Are you ready now? Yeah. Just your hands up. All right. The swatting situation was, it was kind of scary to be honest. I had never really been involved in anything like that. Um, out of nowhere, you know, the production came and, and got us out of the house and and it was a little bit nerve-wracking at first, but the police was very, they were very chill, they were very understanding. Even with the intense bullying from viewers, pranks from the show producers, and unfiltered chaos, <laughs> Connell says the show helped him grow as a person. The hate comments really didn't, didn't affect me. I thought it was yeah, more funny than anything. In my personal life, I guess it just made me more stronger. You know, it made, made me pierce a couple of fears as well.